Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the characteristics of a good research topic. So this is going to be a very, very useful tutorial. Reason being, when we embark on the journey for any kind of a research project, we need to finalize or zero in on a great research topic. So what makes a topic good? That is what we are going to learn today. So you are watching RD tutorials. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So moving on, the first thing that you need to ensure is that your topic is achievable. And when I say your topic is achievable, that is to understand that the difficulty of the topic can be broken down into some, let us say, six issues. First and foremost, try to understand that the topic should be attainable based on the level of qualification to which you are working. So, for instance, let us say you are a student studying a management graduate course or a postgraduate course based on the skill set, based on the academic prowess that you have, you need to ensure that your topic is achievable or could be significantly completed within that academic setup, academic know-how, academic knowledge that you have. So the first and foremost thing when I say your topic is achievable, that is to say that you need to understand that your topic is within your realm of academic qualifications. That is one aspect of the difficulty of the topic. The second is the intrinsic complexity of the subject matter. How complex is your project? How complex is the topic that you have chosen? Does it require a large team, large resources, equipment, apparatus? What is it you require? So do you need to travel for that? Do you need to meet a lot of people to get the data? So understand, evaluate the complexity of the subject matter. The third aspect that you need to understand is the availability of expertise on which you can draw upon. Do you have some mentors who can help you whenever you get stuck somewhere? Do you have the necessary resources? So just understand that you need to have that expertise on which you can bank upon, right? That was third aspect of the complexity of a topic. The fourth thing, the ease with which you can access data. That is to say that is the data easily available? Can you find that data from secondary sources or do you have to get into the field to collect the primary data? Is the data quantitative or qualitative? Because capturing the qualitative data would be even a larger and more difficult task. It could be a daunting task, right? So you need to assess the ease with which you can access the data, right? Fifth aspect that you have to understand the financial costs that are involved, okay? Because this is going to be a painful, stressful uh, project and you it can stress out your financial resources so it could be really stressing so you have to understand that do you have such access to financial resources is somebody sponsoring your project do you have funds available with yourself right so this thing has to be evaluated with great seriousness and the sixth aspect that you need to evaluate to make your topic achievable is the time required to complete the project. So you have to be very realistic about the time that you would require to complete the project. You cannot become or you cannot afford to become over ambitious and uh, breach all the predefined timelines. So you have to be very practical, very realistic. Do not get emotional. Do not get over optimistic and set the timelines with great rationality, okay? So these are the six aspects that you have to look into and ensure that your topic is achievable, right? Moving on, the second aspect 
is the topic needs to be specific. When I say your topic needs to be specific, it refers to the degree to which your research topic is focused and clear. Right. So your uh, topic has to be very, very focused. There shouldn't be any scope of ambiguity. Now, the extent to which a research topic is specific depends on the clarity and the number of words as well. Right. You need to be very clear about what is the kind of uh, clarity you require and what are the number of words your topic is likely to start at a very broad level but you have to break it down and narrow down your research topic as much as possible for instance let us say you can start with just say marketing but narrow it down and you can say business marketing or you could say business marketing between supplier and retailer or maybe let us say b2b marketing and finally you could even boil it down or break it down to business marketing relations between let us say a uh, corporation and uh, maybe a customer okay or the marketing of electric vehicles and the perception of the customer towards electric vehicles right so this is how you have to bring it down break it down and narrow down your topic to make it very very specific moving on the third aspect is that your topic should be relevant ensure your topic is relevant now probably if you are a student your college or university usually determines whether or not your topic is relevant usually there are some project approval committees so when you propose a topic they ensure or they evaluate it and they evaluate the most important parameter to evaluate is whether the topic is relevant right Many a times the topics which you suggest or which you choose for your research project should be somehow solving some serious problem. It cannot be a problem that has been, you know, dealt with or I would say over abused several times and it has lost relevance in the current time. So any topic that you pick up should be solving a pain point that exists and there isn't uh you know large body of knowledge around the topic okay so make your topic relevant so while considering the relevance of your chosen topic it is worth taking a long-term view right when i say it's worth taking a long-term view you have to understand that what are you uh your plans whatever your plans are after completing your study uh maybe let us say today or tomorrow should also be relevant for a longer horizon of time. Probably it should be relevant even in the coming five years or 10 years. So your study or research remains relevant over a period of time. So keep a long term vision while selecting a topic. Right. And then the next aspect that you have to understand and ensure that your topic satisfies the project guidelines whenever like you propose a topic every institution or college or university they lay out certain guidelines they also you know lay down their governing principles of topics how they uh, how they expect their students to choose their topics what kind of projects should be undertaken and uh, the same way if you just see if you have a sponsor again you need to have certain guidelines or you are given certain guidelines which you need to abide by you cannot exceed the budgets you the you know uh, fortnightly reports have to be submitted or maybe a monthly report so there are guidelines and you have to abide by them okay uh, even if you wish to if you are an academician you wish to publish then almost all the journals have their own author guidelines. So you have to follow those guidelines as well. So the topic that you choose need to fit into the guidelines proposed by either your college, university, institution, or maybe the company, sponsor, organization, or even the journals that accept or reject your papers, okay, where you intend to publish your papers, okay. So finally, you have to understand that the topic should 
satisfy the ethical guidelines as well okay make sure that you understand your institution or the organization or your sponsor or the journals their code of conduct the rules and regulations and the governing ethics okay so your topic has to fit within the guidelines proposed by any of these bodies moving on this is this is very very interesting you know your topic is of interest to you now when i say the topic should be of your choice or your interest that means you should be emotionally connected with your topic because if you have that connect you get that motivation the key over here the key word over here is motivation so if your passion let us say is finance then opting for uh, marketing or hr a based uh, subject or topic may not satisfy your interest it will not motivate you so if the topic is of your interest something that you are very close to you are attached to it emotionally then probably you get that soft corner for that topic and you remain motivated and influenced to keep working towards that many a times i've seen this in my career that most often the topics that you choose are given by your supervisor because probably that topic is close to your supervisor's heart right but personally you are not connected to that topic so that would be a disaster never do that so the topic that you choose has to be of your interest and not of your supervisor's interest hope that makes things very clear to you now don't forget to like share and subscribe hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video is uploaded thanks for watching spread the good word bye bye take care